Our previous instructional video covered interviews, and in this one, we'll talk about the increasingly popular slow motion and time lapse shots. These types of shots shouldn't be overused, but when used at the proper time, they can really do a lot to improve your production quality and storytelling. Dave Chappelle said everything looks better in slow motion. He's pretty much right. For slow motion, you record at a high frame rate and then slow it down to a regular frame rate at playback. So the more you want to slow something down, or the faster an object is moving, then the more frames per second you need to record. Keep in mind, a high frame rate is a lot of information for a camera to process, so they usually have to lower the resolution at some point. The opposite of slow motion is a time lapse. You're taking something really slow and speeding it up. So you're trying to capture something that changes over time, like clouds, shadows, sunrise, whatever. The idea of a time lapse is simple. You take a bunch of pictures with your camera, then turn them into frames of video in the editing software. The hard part is they require a little math beforehand and some editing skills afterwards. Basically, you need to figure out how many pictures to take, for how long, and what the time delay in between them is. The good news is, there's phone apps that figure all of this out for you. You might have to buy an intervalometer though. Intervalometers tell your camera to take a picture every few seconds, so you don't have to sit there and press the button over and over. They're only about 40 bucks, and some cameras even have them built in so you don't have to buy one. Another benefit of using pictures to make the video is pictures typically have way higher resolution than video and they use a lot less compression. So you can really do a lot of editing to make the pictures look awesome. So with slow motion, the more frames per second you use, the more you're reducing the amount of light your camera has to work with. So slow motion doesn't really work good in low light situations. With the time lapse, see if your camera can take raw pictures instead of JPEGs. Raw uses zero compression, so you can really make them look good with editing. Alright, last video coming up, and it's on drones, so stay tuned.